couple of visuals of some random people singing and dancing in some language that you might be familiar or you might not be familiar at all. But they aren't some random people. They are some highly trained doctors, nurses and some frontline health workers from a treatment center in Beni in Democratic Republic of Congo where they are celebrating the release of the last Ebola patient from the treatment center. A couple of weeks ago, the World Health Organization announced that Democratic Republic of Congo, or also known as the DRC, has officially ended the 10th Ebola outbreak in the country, or also known as the world's second deadliest Ebola outbreak till date. I'm delighted to celebrate the end of the Ebola outbreak in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo. The Ebola response was a victory for science. The rapid rollout of a highly effective vaccine saved lives and slowed the spread of Ebola. WH is celebrating with all the people of DRC. I'm sure many of us would be dreaming of a day when the entire world defeats the COVID-19 and doctors, nurses and everyone would be in the streets celebrating just like the frontline workers celebrating the discharge of the last patient from DRC. <laughs> For almost two years, around 16,000 frontline workers battled the DRC's 10th Ebola outbreak in which 2,280 patients come to the infection. For these health workers, the war is not over because there is a new unseen enemy, the coronavirus, which is wrecking havoc across the world for more than six months now. And many of these health workers will be redistributed to the newly built COVID-19 task force where they will be using the years of experience gained from fighting the Ebola to help the country fight another deadly health emergency. We are the health and the health. We have been thinking that the government of Hippocrates so we were obliged to sacrifice and treat the malades. But DRC's phenomenal achievement in containing the Ebola outbreak was sidelined as the entire world was busy fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. But I feel everyone should take a moment out here and appreciate what DRC has achieved here. I mean, this is a very interesting success story. DRC was able to contain the Ebola outbreak at a time when they were also fighting COVID-19, the world's largest measles outbreak which had already killed more than 6,850 people, a brutal civil war, and also a major water crisis. Even when coronavirus is wrecking havoc in several developed countries like USA, UK, Spain and even India, several West African countries, especially those countries which fought the Ebola, are not reporting overwhelming cases of COVID-19. We are talking about those countries where the health structure is weak as compared to those developed countries which are being badly hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. So over the past several years, countries like DRC, Sierra Leone, Liberia have learned a lot of lessons fighting the Ebola outbreak. And today they are using those lessons to tackle several health emergencies. And in this story we look into how the lessons learned from Ebola are helping these West African countries to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, we're facing the biggest Ebola outbreak we've ever seen. Ebola is a disease that knows no mercy. This man is one of many affected by the outbreak in Guinea. Before getting into the story, for those people who doesn't know what is Ebola virus disease, Ebola is a rare but very serious and often fatal illness in humans which comes under the class of zoonotic disease. The virus is transmitted to people from wild animals and spreads in the human population through human-to-human -human transmission. The disease had its major outbreak in the African continent, primarily in the West African countries. 
Today, West African countries are applying the insights gained from addressing the 2014-16 and 2018-20 Ebola outbreak to tackle the COVID-19 with notable success. For instance, take an example of Sierra Leone, which was one of the hardest hit country by Ebola. With more than 14,000 cases and nearly 4,000 deaths, the outbreak had overwhelmed the country's fragile public health system. Currently, there are about 1,752 confirmed cases and 66 deaths related to COVID-19 in the country. The International Organization for Migration says that these numbers are relatively low in Sierra Leone because of what they have learned from the Ebola outbreak. The picture from Liberia, DRC is nothing different but very much similar and same goes to several other West African countries. In short, countries like DRC, Sierra Leone, Liberia have become better, smarter and effective at containing the health emergencies and as a result, their response towards the COVID-19 was quick. Even when the COVID cases were being reported in China, Iran and South Korea, Several West African countries had already set up COVID task force and were preparing for a COVID-19 outbreak. So one basic question that might strike you is that how has Ebola brought changes to these West African countries? There is no doubt that they are better prepared to tackle a health emergency now. The positive part is that there is a lot of capacity that was built during the Ebola outbreak. Doctors, nurses and frontline health workers now have an incredible experience with experimental treatments, vaccines, surveillance and most importantly, the public health architecture was improved in these countries. As the countries around the world faces the COVID-19 pandemic, DRC's Ebola response provides valuable lessons. Many of the public health measures that have been successful in stopping Ebola are the same measures that are now essential for stopping COVID-19. Ebola and COVID-19 are different viruses, but the principle is the same. Contact tracing is essential for finding and isolating cases and identifying and quarantining their contacts. Mobile applications can support contact tracing, but nothing replaces boots on the ground. Trained workers going door to door to find cases and contacts and break the chains of transmission. On multiple occasions, WHO has said that the contact tracers of DRC should serve a worldwide inspiration. These contact tracers played an important role in helping the country stop the spread of Ebola outbreak. They used technology, mobile phone apps to collect data on Ebola and share it with the government as well as other public health agencies, which in turn helped in keeping a track of the cases and new outbreaks in the country. Ok, vous pouvez me donner les signes qu'il présente Ok. Ok. Voilà, il y a un cas suspect à Malépé. Je me suis appelé l'investigateur de Malépé qu'on puisse envoyer une ambulance. Oui. Oui, allô, docteur Eric. Ici, c'est la cellule alerte. DRC et several other West African countries showed that community engagement can play a very important factor in tackling a health emergency. A nationwide community engagement program not only helped in controlling the spread of Ebola outbreak in DRC, but also it is proving to do good at the time of COVID-19 pandemic, as the people are already aware of what to do during a health emergency. Today, the world can learn how the DRC and other West African countries are beating Ebola and tackling both new threats like COVID-19 and age-old challenges such as malaria and cholera. Some inspiring and valuable lessons which the entire world can look into at these difficult times. Viruses do not take breaks. There is still the potential for flare-ups and rapid response teams and support systems must remain in place.